everyone welcome back to another video this is a Louisa V Aroma haul I've got a serious load of things that I'm gonna show you and as always quick thing for any of you who are new for any of you who have been with me a while you already know this but Louisa V Aroma the reason why I buy so much from there is for two reasons first of all they do these incredible flash sales you might be, some of you have told me that you've already seen this, but you might be like browsing on their website one day and suddenly like a coupon code will pop up just for you. And it's, there's like a timer that comes on the screen and it's like, this is gonna last for like 20 minutes and it's brilliant. I've bought so many things. I've had like 50% off Balmain blazers that I've got hanging up there, so it's really good. And I'm going to link below to where you can get the coupon codes. I still get loads of you asking me, saying how do I sign up for these codes? Anyone can get them. I'm gonna start with this. For any of you ladies out there who are like me, you're a bit taller and you find that whenever you buy skirts on the high street or dresses in particular, they are indecently short. If you want to buy a skirt or a dress that is above the knee, how to describe this? You know what, like I'm gonna show you here, for example, an, an example of a short skater style dress. Now on that girl, that looks like a regular length. Like that would be fine to wear out in the day. You put that same dress on a tall person and suddenly it is like, your butt is hanging out, you can't go up escalators. If you want a dress that looks like it's meant to be short, but hey, you put it on and you're tall and it works, then check out this brand. They're called MSGM. This brand, I really find that the length of everything is really good, the fit is also really good, plus as well, the price point of these things. So this I got in the sale, it was 157 pounds, and one of those flash coupons came up where there was an extra 20% off sale. So I got this for quite a bit cheaper. Their stuff is like, or in fact, I've got a dress that I'm gonna come onto in a second. I think it was like 300 pounds. It's kind of not far off Karen Millen money, but the quality is a lot better. I have worn this in the example here with a white blouse that is designed to look like it's cropped, but it's not. So if you wanna look like, you know that shirt thing where you've got like a bow tied at the waist and it looks like it's like a little short cropped shirt, but hey, you don't wanna have your stomach showing. This is a really good idea because it look, it's like a fake cropped shirt. I'm sticking with MSGM. This is the next item. You could get this in red and in black. This is the most gorgeous length dress. I can wear this and I feel like that analogy I said earlier, it feels like I'm wearing a dress that is above the knee that has been designed for a regular height, not an abnormal height. I wear this and I feel comfortable. The material's heavy, so I don't feel like paranoid in case like the wind blows or anything. I hate that. I hate going out wearing a dress and feeling anxious because it's like really windy day and I've got something on that just billows above my head as soon as the wind blows. With this, I don't get it. With MSGM, I have found that in terms of the sizing, I went down a size. So normally I pretty much always take like a UK 10, but with this and with Dolce & Gabbana, I always take a UK 8. I don't know, it just, I find this particular brand comes up a little bit big. This has just got tassels down the front of it that you can see there. It's got a V-neck, but it's not like a real plunging V-neck. Um, and if you have, here's a bit of advice for you that I once got told. If you've got a larger bust, avoid necklines that are like scoop necks because they will make your bust look bigger. I definitely find if I wear a polo neck or a scoop neck, my boobs look like quite big. If I go for something V, but not like a plunge, but the V just kind of like flattens you out a bit balances you out a bit. So yeah, I was really pleased with both of those items because they were not expensive at all. And in fact, apart from this dress, nothing I'm really gonna show you here is expensive in terms of being like thousands of pounds or anything. I just wanted to get some basic things, some basic dresses that I can wear now into autumn. So with both those items, although they're kind of like short skirts or whatever, the material's quite heavy, so I know that as it gets a little bit colder, I can still keep wearing them. I was gonna say something, actually. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, on the coupon codes that come up, a lot of you have been telling me this, the coupon codes typically tend to exclude things on the Louisa V Aroma website that have got a star next to them. So when you go on the website, some items have got a star, which means, I think it means they're like permanent collection or they're like new or something like that. And normally you can't get a discount on those items. 
But here is the thing. There have, there's probably been like one occasion I can think of last June where I bought a whole bunch of stuff that had a star next to it and it was 50% off. And I'm gonna link to that video below actually because some of you may be interested to see what I got. I got current stuff. Like as I said, Balmain blazers. I've bought like Valentino Rockstar bags in that sale. Um, and I don't know why, maybe it was broken. <laughs> and I just took advantage of it at the time. But another thing I gotta say is when they do these coupon codes, I think that these coupon codes are becoming more and more well known. A lot more of us now know that Louisa Via Roma do this. And I really find that when I get an email through and it's like 40% off for the next 10 minutes, by the time I get there, there's nothing left. And what you end up seeing is all the items that were eligible, as soon as they've sold out, they disappear immediately off the website. So it really looks like the sale's stingy because the only thing left is starred items, but it's not always the case. A lot of it is starred, but you've got to be on there constantly. So what I do is, I'm so, I'm so sad, I will go through the website and I will add to my wish list loads of items that I want, but mainly things that don't have a star. And then whenever there's a coupon, I can just get straight to my wish list and just buy the things that I know I want without having to like look for things that I might want. That makes sense. Oh, the next thing is these. I like these. How many of us are into high-waisted? If you want a pair of high-waisted jeans that kind of don't really look like jeans, they look like a trouser, but they're denim material, and they make your waist look tiny, you need to have a look at these. This is a brand that I've never worn before. It's called Philosophy by Lorenzo Serafini. And I got these jeans. Now, when I first ordered them and they turned up, they were big. So I wanna say size down in these because as well, the fabric is quite stretchy. And again, here's a tip for you that once got told to me and I always live by it now and it's pretty true. If you, when you try on jeans, if you wanna know whether they fit you or not, if you think they're a bit big, what you need to do when you're wearing them, put your hand, just grab this back bit. If you can pull, if there's like, if you can pull it out and it's not tight to you, then it's too big. And also with a lot of jeans, they stretch anyway. So if you can, if there's already a little bit of give there, size down, because they're gonna stretch anyway. I did get a size 10 and that was way too big. And I thought, okay, given the how big it is and the stretch, I went down two sizes. So I've got a UK size six um, and they're a great fit. And not only that, but they're that height on the waist where they really pull you in. And if I can just show you around the top of these here, they're kind of different to your average jean, whereby you don't have like, there's no pockets on the front. There's not, that you don't, you don't have that like strip that goes along there that's got the belt hooks on it. Um, and you've got these down here, these nice like, I think these are called darts. Are they called darts where you have that? But then also down the back, there is this, I'm hoping this is gonna show you. There's like a seam that runs all the way down the back. When you wear these, that really, does so well at elongating the look of your legs. It just makes your legs look longer and slimmer. I've actually worn these already with flat shoes and they don't drag along the floor, which is something that I hate with jeans when you get long ones, because you don't want to ruin the bottom bit, but that doesn't happen with these. So I had this idea for how I wanted to wear those jeans and it is to wear it with this. Who had one of these? Like I had one of these when I was like 12 years old and I remember it was the first designer thing I ever had designer thing and I was like oh my god I've got like my Calvin Klein t-shirt I feel amazing and what it's really weird because when I saw these were back again I thought how so, like I know things come back in style like we're seeing the Dior saddlebag at the moment that's like been resurrected from 2003 or something but it's so weird when you wear things that you used to wear when you were like really young as well this was 50 pounds but I got it in that sale I was telling you about so I ended up paying like I think I paid like 40 something pounds for this. Not a lot at all. And you can get this in different colors. I almost forgot about these. And I got these in the sale as well, are these boots. These are by a brand that I'd never heard of in my life. They are called, I think it's called And or A-A-N-D. Another great thing about Louisa Via Roma is half the time, they have brands on there that I've either never heard of. They're like Italian brands, never heard of them. You would never find their stuff in the UK. It's kind of like local Italian design. Or they very often will do things like, for example, they'll do like Dolce & Gabbana dresses, but they won't be 
the Dolce and Gabbana dresses that you would see in the likes of Netta Porter or Matches Fashion. They're kind of more um, unique. They'll be like in a print that no one else in the UK bought in to retail. So, and I quite like it for that because it means that you can be a bit more, I guess, unique with the stuff that you wear. You can get these in beige with black. You can also get them in an ankle boot version. They've got a slightly squared off toe. These are full leather. I do think they come up a bit big. I tried on the seven, first of all, which is the size 40, and that was really too big. So I ended up sizing down to the size six. And then the final thing that I got is this dress. I didn't get it in the sale. I wish I did. This has been in my wish list for so long and I was waiting, it's, it's a starred item. So I was waiting for something to come up whereby I could get it for a discount, but it never came up. And in the end, because I'm going on holiday in two days time, I was just like, I've wanted this dress since June and I put off buying it, even though I could have got so much wear out of it throughout that hot period of time that we had in the UK. But I put it off, put it off because I thought that it's gonna be a code coming up soon. There wasn't, and now we're at the end of summer and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy it. I know that this is the kind of thing I can wear next year as well. And it's a good length. This is the other great thing is with this, because it's slightly off the shoulder, if you are taller, you can wear it lower. Hey, if you're smaller, you can wear it like that. Like there's a couple of different ways you can wear this. So it's kind of like not an issue. And also it's quite tightly fitted around the waist. So I find it quite flattering. I think the Dolce & Gabbana dresses are seriously expensive. This was like 975, which I think is the cheapest Dolce & Gabbana dress you can get. I feel like they start at like 1500 pounds or something. They are really stupid money. If you, if they've always played on your mind, if you've always thought about getting one, I don't think they're a total waste of money because they are kind of, classic's the wrong word, but I think, I don't think it's something you're necessarily gonna be able to wear for the next five years or whatever, but I think that certainly for the next few summers, they are a design and they're a style and they are, they come in patterns and colors that I can't see going out of style for at least two more summers. Personally, I just don't, because they were in last year. Do you remember the Hydrangea version? I really liked that and I was like, oh, can't justify it. But this year when they had the Peony version, they've got the Sicily version, is it called? That was when I thought, okay, I can see this being around and I'm actually gonna wear that. So it's worth getting. I think that I got sent a discount code yesterday. So I'm gonna look to see if it's still live. If it is, I'm gonna link to it. No, I won't link to it. I'll just write what it is below. However, if it's not live and you don't see a coupon code there, then click the link that I've put below and sign up your details on the page that that link goes to. Because that is that is all you need to do to get the discounts. And the other thing I was gonna say is another reason why I shop from Louisa Via Roma, and some of you might be interested in this. Every time you shop, you get points. So for example, I got 200 pounds in credit voucher to use on all of this because I redeemed points from stuff from money I'd spent previously, if that makes sense. I am going to go now and leave you be. Have a good rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video.